Hey there, Giuseppe here from Juicy Juice. I, um, this is like probably the, the 40th time I've started this video over and over again. I think I'm scared that um, if I don't say something so attention grabbing in the first 15 seconds of the video that I will lose everybody watching. So I'm going to entice you to stick around because at the end of the video, I have a really exciting announcement that I'm really, really stoked to share with you all. So hopefully that'll make you stick around to the end of the video. Um, today, we are here to talk about the mini-series Sew Along. This is our second Sew Along for the mini-series. Um, the first one was in 2020, at the very beginning of that little pandemic we had. Um, I have a change of location since then. I am living in Portland, Maine now. I was in Queens, New York then. Um, I have lots and lots to share with you today, so we're just going to dive right in. Uh, first off, today marks the beginning of the sew along, technically speaking, but there's two weeks of prep time in the very beginning. So if this is the first you're hearing about the mini series, if this is the first you're hearing about the sew along, and you see something in this video that gets you really excited and you want to join us, don't worry, you have plenty of time to be able to join in the sew along. I really mean that. We got two weeks of prep. There's plenty of time for you to order from any of our awesome shop sponsors, um, to order bundles of fabric from them, the patterns, the supplies that you'll need. Plenty of plenty of time to get everything. So fret not. This is going to be a super casual sew along. It's really fun and relaxed. We're, Allison and I keep reminding one another, like, it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be relaxed as we're, like, pulling out our hair. Well, she has hair. I have a beard. But you know what I mean. Um, trying to get everything done and ready and great for all of you. So... Um, it is really relaxed. The sew along, I'll talk a little bit about the breakdown of how the sew along works. Um, it's for these little mini series patterns. Um, we just released season three of the mini series a couple of weeks ago. Um, each season has four patterns in it. There was season one, season two, and now we're up to season three. Um, we knew we wanted to up the ante for this next sew along, so we have four new blocks, and we also released a collaborative fabric collection, which we're really, really stoked about. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. Um, the way that the sew along will be structured is that, um, <clears throat> like I said, we have two weeks of prep in the very beginning. Each week we do two blocks with a, with a week break every two weeks. So we'll do two blocks week um the uh, we'll do two blocks the first week of sewing, two blocks the second week of sewing and then there's a week for catching up. So even if you decide like if you are watching this video in the future, hello future you this that was so weird but I'm not starting this again. Um if you are if we're if we're taken over by a race of alien people in the next month and that's how we speak to one another in the next month and you're catching this video for the very first time there's still time to join the sew along <laughs> so um because there's week breaks built in throughout at the very end we have a nice long stretch um where there's plenty of time for you to be able to catch up on all the blocks and for the for the sew along literally all you have to do are make the blocks um i think we're asking for you to do a four inch version of it which is kind of like the standard size of the blocks but um, you don't need to make a project. That's different from last time. Um, at the end of the sew along, if you've made all 12 blocks, you'll receive a finisher pin. It's a really lovely enamel pin that gets sent out to um, to everybody who's made all 12 of the blocks. Allison has this fun little um, merit badge that she sends out as well. Um, as we go along, if you're able to meet the deadlines, there's awesome giveaways from all of our terrific shop sponsors. So there's lots of really great reasons to stay involved and kind of keep the blocks going. And I'll tell you too, as you go along, they be, they come together way quicker as you move along. So um, that's a good segue into talking about the actual patterns themselves. They're modular patterns in a way. And what I mean by that is that they can be made in a variety of sizes. So um, you can make a, a one inch block, you can make a four inch block, which is kind of like our standard size of the block, or you can make some of them as large as eight inches, you know, within the confines of a sheet of eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Some of them can even be joined together to make even larger blocks. This one, for instance, the triangle geese block. This one you can put two with one upside down to make a really long, lovely diamond. Um, you could also put um, six of these together to make one big hexagon. I've done both of those things and they're really, really fun. So um, they are, they're great um, skill building patterns. The way that the sew along is laid out is kind of like from the easiest blocks into the more complicated blocks. 
Um, so, um, you know, you'll start with the courthouse step, I believe, is our first block. Um, and from there, you'll, um, you know, you'll get confident in working with the process and then, you know, move to the next block, et cetera, et cetera. Allison and I are going to be available for, you know, questions and stuff like that. You can totally just um, send me an email if you have a question about how something works or something like that. But each week we'll be sharing tips and tricks um, and all sorts of information with you on the blocks to be able to, you know, um, make them really great. Um, sorry, I'm talking so quickly. I'm from New York. It's hard to shake that. So, um, if you're interested in finding out more about the Solong, Long, even if you're not sure if you want to sign up yet and you just want to know some more information, I encourage you to go to allisonglass.com. That's allison with one L, glass.com. Um, you can sign up for the newsletter and get all sorts of great information about the Solong Long and also our terrific sponsors. So we've got sponsors who have beautiful bundles that they're selling. They're selling patterns. Um, they're selling supplies, and they're also um, sponsoring lots of great giveaways throughout the whole Sew Along. So signing up for the newsletter, you'll get lots of information about where you can go to buy all of this great stuff. A lot of the stuff is available at allisonglass.com, but we really encourage you to support the shops who are sponsoring us. Go to them for your fabric bundles, go to them for your notions, all of that stuff. Really, truly, it's super important that we support our local quilt shops um, and our online quilt shops. So please um, go to them, support them, buy the patterns from them, all of that great stuff. We really can't encourage you enough to do that. Um, the, um, let's see, I talked about, okay, I'm not even gonna pretend that I'm not gonna look at this cheat sheet to see what I gotta do next. Okay, I did that, I did that, I did that. All right. Man, when you talk fast, like it's really easy to get a lot of information out at once. If I, if I, I used to be an actor, if I still were, my director would say, go back and do that all again at half the speed, but there's no director here. There's nobody pressing record. You don't see it, but I'm gonna go around there and I'm gonna press start and stop like a buffoon because I don't have anybody helping me make this video. Anyway, I might cut this part out. We'll see. <laughs> so we've talked about the patterns. We've talked about the sew along. It ends um, 1120, by the way. Um, that's November 20th. Like I said, there's a ton of weeks in there to play catch up and stuff like that. So it's um, a long sew along, but there is plenty of time to be able to, I mean, I think that making two of these a week, uh, granted I make a lot of these, but two of these a week is really not that, that hard to keep up with, I find. So. Next, let's talk a little bit about supplies. So, of course, you'll need the patterns. Like I said, there's 12 total. A lot of you who joined us from the last solo already have eight, so you only need to get the next four. Um, we're gonna need a rotary cutter. We're going to need a cutting mat. This is not a cutting mat, sorry. Gonna need a cutting mat. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew because I didn't have a cutting mat to hold up. I was gonna just move on to the next thing and say cutting mat while looking at the cutting mat. And it happened, see, the secret. You put it out there and it comes back to you. A seam roller is really handy dandy and helpful. You could press each of your things. I don't personally like to. I find that it kind of starts to burn the center of a lot of the blocks, like once you're hitting with an iron over and over again. Um, it's personal preference, but this is a really nice handy dandy tool. This one's by Violet Craft and I love it. You're gonna want an add an eighth ruler all of the blocks are sewn with an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Um, like I said, they're foundation paper piece. So um, we're going to add fabric, trim fabric, and press fabric. And this is gonna make our seams nice and um, consistent, the add an eighth ruler. You'll want a scissor for cutting out your paper templates. That's a paper scissor. You'll want another scissor for cutting your fabric. If you, like I like to cut larger pieces or like root through my scraps or something like that and then cut the pieces smaller as I'm working, like I'll lay them all out, that kind of thing. Anyway, um, pins, to um, just to pin your first piece of fabric into place. Conversely, if you're fussy cutting things, you can use a glue stick, that works great too. Mistakes do happen. So in that case, we have a nice seam ripper, a sharp one. So we talk a lot about replacing our sewing machine needles, but we don't talk that often about replacing our seam rippers. Replace your seam ripper every once in a while. That's a good thing. And um, scotch tape, um, like transparent tape, will be great for if you, you know, um, sometimes you have to go over a piece a couple of times to get it right. When that happens, you might tear a little hole in your paper. Just put a piece of tape over it, move on with your day. You're good to go, all right? Next, I'm going to talk about the two, in my opinion, most important supplies. I'll talk about fabric first. 
If you're trying to decide what fabric to use, might you consider Sky Gazing in the Thicket by Juicy Juice and Allison Glass. Allison and I, like I said before, we really wanted to up the ante for the next sew along. So we thought, wouldn't it be cool to release collaborative fabric collections um, that they were, they're independent of one another, but they work nicely together to be able to make a really lovely little spectrum, a really nice kind of crayon box palette for you to be able to make um, lots and lots of different blocks with. For um, the, um, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. I have to grab something really quick before I forget to tell you about it. But I'm not going to show it to you yet. I'm just going to hide it right here. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yes, for fabric, um, I recommend using a quilting cotton for if it's your first time. The cover blocks are made with Allison's lovely kaleidoscope wovens. They're absolutely great and lovely to use. But I think for your first block or two, try it out with a quilting cotton first. It'll just be really... Um, um, it's, you know, it's a tighter weave, so it'll just give you a little bit more structure to your block. Once you feel really comfortable with the process, then introducing things like wovens will be, could be a really, really fun thing for you to do with the blocks. Um, I am going to be, I guess, no, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Okay. So that's for fabric. Like I said, this is sky gazing and thicket combined. There are 20 skews each. Um, my collection is Sky Gazing, Allison's is Thicket. Together they make Sky Gazing in the Thicket. Um, we encourage you to look, um, go to your local quilt shops to buy your bundles of it. A lot of them are offering fat eighth and fat quarter bundles. Um, and I think it's a really fun little um, collection. That This is what I'll be using for the sew along, of course. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to do for the sew along in just a minute. But I have one more notion to talk with you about first. My favorite of all. Deco Bob by Wonderfill. I absolutely love and adore this product. Tr like truly, really, truly, not just like a product placement thing. I love this stuff. It's an 80 weight cottonized polyester thread. It is um, poly, so it's gonna be a stronger than using like a cotton thread. And it is, it just gives you the most beautiful, I mean, it's gonna be impossible to tell here, but the most beautiful flat seams you've ever seen. It reduces a ton of bulk, which is really, really helpful when you're working with tiny piecing. So it's definitely, if there's any, I think so long is a great opportunity to try new things, right? Um, it's a great opportunity to try a palette that you've never worked with before, and a really good opportunity to try a notion that you've never worked with before. This stuff is gold. I absolutely love it. I have it literally in every single color, and I can't say enough great things about it. Um, Allison will be selling on her website some of my, they're um, like my little branded thread sets for Wonderfill. I have a neutral pack and then there's a color pack as well if that's of interest to you. Those are available on her website if you'd like to try them out. Um, like I said, can't say enough good things about it. Um, if you are um, wondering about needle size, the size for, um, when I say that for your sewing machine of course is what I mean. Um, it's a 7010 needle or an 8020 Microtex is what Decobob suggests using for your sewing machine. Um, I, I, uh, what should we call it? You can use whatever you want though, really. I, I haven't really found that. I don't like take a pack of needles with me to go to every sewing machine I go where I teach this and change it out. You know, personal preference, try it out, play with it. I don't find that it makes that much of a difference personally. But um, that is what the factory manufacturer, that's what the manufacturer's suggestion is, all right? So to close out this video, before I get to my little announcement, I wanted to show you what I'm gonna be doing for the sew along. So this was kind of like a test block for me. This is the pineapple block. This is from season one of the mini series. What I'm gonna be playing with for my blocks is um, the idea of the block breaking and shattering. So it'll start nice and concentrated in the center and then as we move out it's going to fragment and kind of break off into pieces. I will be making a quilt for mine. I think that that's what I'm planning on doing. This bag by the way I made the panel on the outside and then Rock Baby Scissors made the bag. It is um, really beautiful. I highly recommend checking out her stuff. She's super super talented. Um, so that's what I'm going to be playing with for the sew along. I'm really excited about it. These kind of like fractured blocks. Um, I'm actually really stoked for it. Um, so there's that. I wanted to also just let you know, like I think I may have said this in the beginning, but just in case um, 
even if I did, it's important to reiterate. Um, Allison is working diligently to get all of the patterns sent out to everybody. So um, if, um, if you haven't received yours yet, remember we still have two weeks before we actually start even sewing. So um, she's working really, really quickly to get all the patterns out. You'll have everything in time for the sew along, so fret not. Um, and um, yeah, that's that. So, all right. Announcement time. Okay. I am the, the overwhelmingly, the, th the most messages that I received in the last sew along that we did was that people wished that there was a workshop that they could take to learn how to do tiny piecing. Well, here at Juicy Juice, we listen. So, guess what? There's going to be a virtual workshop for the mini series. So, uh, for the tiny piecing. This would have been so much more elegant if I'd nailed that line. Anyway, um, my friend Shannon over at Meander Guild, um, um, she has um, allowed me to record my tiny piecing workshop for everybody to see. So you can go to um, the, you can just go to the link in my Instagram profile if you're interested in signing up for the um, for the workshop. I'll, um, there is a special block that I designed specifically for the workshop. It's called the Chevron block. There's one version of it. Here's another version of it. The fun thing about it is that you can do not only a four inch block like so, like the rest of our patterns, you can also, cut out a strip and tape pieces together to make a really, really long one, to make a fun little lanyard, key fobs, things like that. This works similarly to this little, this one here where it can kind of just extend and go on for as long as you want because you can just tape the geese together, um, tape the papers together to make it as long as you would like to. So if you're interested in taking that workshop, you can sign up for Meander. The link is in my Instagram bio. And I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it's a cool, I've been really fortunate to be able to teach tiny piecing all over the country, over here in the US. And I'm pretty excited that people in other parts of the world will be able to, um, to tiny piece with me now too, which is a cool thing. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, I wish I'd done better with this video. I'm a little rusty. I haven't done a talking to the camera video in quite a while. Um, but hopefully all of the information came across. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or shoot me an email at juice, uh, it's, uh, juicyjuice at gmail.com, one word. And um, you can also just click email in my, um, in my bio right by the sign up for the Meander workshop. Um, so yeah, hopefully that was good info. Um, hopefully I didn't talk too quickly. And I'm super excited for the sew along. I really am. This was totally a saving grace during the pandemic. And I'm pretty thrilled to revisit it with, um, um, with these new blocks. I, I, I have a very strong vision of what the final quilt will look like. So I'm excited to, uh, to get to work on it with you all. All right. Um, check out mini series SAL a hashtag to be able to see lots of awesome inspiration from the last sew along. And I hope you'll consider joining us because it's going to be a good time. All right. I'm going to stand right here and uh, smile and just know that after this moment, I walked around to the camera to turn it off.